بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now, most of the today's network uh, most of the firewalls in today's network they do support something like next generation firewall features now this these are the additional features what uh, most of the new uh, new firewall supports apart from the one which i discussed earlier like stateful stateless or application gateways now in the next generation firewalls they majorly support some additional options like url filtering where the traffic when it is going from lan to the internet we can we can actually filter the traffic based on some urls a specific urls you can filter or maybe some firewalls actually uh, have some database on the cloud or onto the network and probably it's going to contact and there is a predefined list of urls based on some reputation like so and so xyz.com website is a malicious website and any traffic destined to this website will be automatically filtered so this url filtering is something we can do it manually where i can manually decide what uh, what are the specific urls to be able to access or not and also the firewalls can act, can actually contact the database or the pre-built database where some of the specific urls will be filtered dynamically based on the databases like like the vendors have a predefined category of urls and if it matches the database it's going to filter just like antivirus program if it finds any file vulnerable it's going to stop that similar to that and also we can define some uh, policies like the firewall we can configure some security policies uh, in general based on the source destination protocol apart from that we can also configure based on the users because in today's networks like if you take an example i have a user let's say uh, the user 1 now this user 1 belongs to accounts department and he is having his own desktop in the office which he generally uses and sometimes he carries his own laptop to to access the network resources or sometimes if he is um, he can also use his own uh, smartphone uh typically let's say he is using his own smartphone to use some of the basic access like emails or any any kind of internet access and and maybe he is having one more device to connect let's say maybe he is using his ipad sometimes to connect now now when now it's very difficult for the user for a specific user to define a policies because uh if he is using all the four devices he'll be using a different ip addresses and most of the time the ip addresses will be dynamic they can change based on the dhcp server and if you want to configure some security policy like acls or any other policies you need to write down a specific rules based on almost four rules you need to write down because he will be using a four devices in general so that will actually makes a little bit complicated so what i can do is i can instead of writing the rules based on a specific ips we can write down the rules based on the user so that whatever the device he uses from wherever he access we can the the particular user will will get his own uh, uh, specific rules and based on that the traffic will be allowed or denied so we call this as identity based access control where we can filter or or define some rules based on the username passwords or some kind of tags we call it as security tags at the layer 2 uh, the next thing application visibility control is another a common feature in most of the next generation firewalls like like take an example you you want the user sitting in the lan they they should access the facebook.com let's say at the same time i want to deny some micro applications inside the facebook like uh, maybe you want to deny or video or audio chat something you want to deny so you want to deny some specific applications inside the facebook maybe you want to deny some chat but at the same time you want them to allow the facebook because you might be doing some kind of marketing using facebook so you can you can actually do the marketing but you cannot use some of the specific applications while browsing so we can we can actually define what applications are using while browsing uh, we can actually uh, filter the rules based on some micro applications now again most of the Uh, next generation firewall supports something called next generation ips ips stands for intrusion prevention system uh, it's a it's a special device in the network which is going to detect or monitor the traffic or analyze the traffic and if it finds any kind of vulnerabilities threats 
it's going to initiate some action. So most of the firewalls nowadays, uh, no, most of the IPS we use nowadays, they are next generation IPS because they do support some kind of advanced malware protection and, and other benefits, uh, what, what generally the previous IPS does not support. So mostly like next generation IPS, uh, it supports some next generation intrusion prevention system in the network with advanced malware protection and many other additional features.